the free-for-all mode in Chivalry 2 gives us a great place to practice our combat skills against both groups of enemies and individuals. However, the same few players win the extreme majority of games. I'm Strider the Champ, and in today's video, I will help you to achieve the rush of dopamine that comes through victory by providing you with some tips to win more free-for-all games. While ultimately victory comes down to your skill as a warrior, there are several weapons that can improve your chances to win. For free for all, I tend to value weapons that hit hard and have a long reach. Being able to sweep your attacks in a wide arc through multiple enemies can maximize your offensive efficiency. I consider the big three in this regard to be the Executioner Axe, Great Sword, and Messer. All three are great choices in group fights and very viable in 1v1 situations situations. While speedier, more dually weapons like the Longsword, One-Headed Sword, or Danax can be used to great success in free-for-all, I think your path to victory is a tad easier with the aforementioned Big 3 that combine reach, damage, and swing through enemies. On a side note, while not wonderful 1v1, the new Highland Sword can wreak havoc in group fights and is also an interesting free-for-all choice. There's a certain saying I, I tend to say quite a bit while streaming, and that is to always pick the low-hanging fruit. Situational awareness, target selection, and decision-making have a great impact on your success as a player. Prioritize tunnel-visioned enemies or groups of enemies who are preferably back turned and bleeding. While some people consider ganking to be cheap and dishonorable, this is a horrible take and one I would like players to move away from. Scanning the battlefield and selecting targets in a split second and making the correct decisions is a skill like any other. On top of that, with the extreme majority of ganks, the person who is being ganked is actually at fault. Generally, being ganked means the player lacked awareness, positioned themselves poorly, or made a poor decision at some point that ultimately ultimately cause their demise. There's a reason some players are ganked 20 to 30 times a game, and then others will win with only 5 to 10 deaths. Well, how do you stop being ganked so often, you ask? The answer is positioning. Free-for-all lobbies spawn the players on the outskirts of the map. Many players will face the middle of the map with their back facing the spawn points for the entirety of their short-lived life. This is a tactical and positioning error, as they will repeatedly be ganked by spawning players. You want to prioritize winning your first fight and positioning your back towards the center of the map so that you can see players spawning in. You're much less likely likely to get ganked when your back is facing the middle. I hope these tips help you guys rise up the ranks in free-for-all lobbies. We'll now be transitioning into some HD free-for-all clips and highlights so you guys can see how I fight and react to certain situations. Enjoy the free-for-all gameplay, subscribe to the channel, and be sure to follow me over on Twitch for live gameplay. Anita needs only 10 more! kills and the leader is victorious the kill leader is near victory victory
That's enough. Only 20 more victories! Yeah! <laughs> 